Hi, I'm Kim. You're watching Kim Wilson TV. My channel is dedicated to helping victims of narcissistic abuse get free and stay free. Now, if you're still with the narcissist or, or you've left, um, if you're there, it's active. If you've left, you can probably reflect back on times where you felt like the narcissist was actually plotting and sabotaging you on purpose. And I want to talk about that today. Now, of course, this could sound absolutely absurd to someone looking on because you would wonder, you know, especially in a loving relationship where you share the home, share children, perhaps. Uh, it is extremely important that two people are working together for the good of the whole. That's not the case with these things. When two people are successful in a relationship, both benefit equally, of course, because it's a group effort. The narcissist doesn't care about this. Even if you have capacity to earn money, uh, generate uh, income that could be used for vacations, a new car, no, no, they'd rather sabotage you than be part of that. Now, as many of you know, I'm a jewelry artist and uh, have always loved that career. That career was brought to an absolute and abrupt halt when I started dating Trevor. Now, at that time, I had been part of a group of uh, artists within my community, and we had started what's known as an artist incubator. It's a large space with small individual studios. We had a retail shop in front, and we all worked in our studios at varying times, and the general public could come in and visit you in your studio, watch what you did, uh, buy your work from the retail store if they wanted to, and well, it it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it and, of course, was one of the founding members with uh, the Hive Artist Incubator in Medicine Hat, uh, something I was very proud of. Trevor, of course, hated this and hated this immensely. Through all the usual narcs uh, bag weapons, he eventually got me to give up that position with the Hive. Um, my studio had been boxed, and of course, he kept promising that I could set up a studio in his house of pain. Now, though there was four empty bedrooms and a fully finished complete rec room, uh, there never seemed to be space for me to set up a studio until finally uh, one day after I'd been nagging him, he agreed to give me a filthy little space in the garage. A little bit reluctant, I set up the studio in the garage. I probably took 60% of my jewelry making supplies. I've been designing art jewelry for well over 30 years. So my jewelry making supply collection is pretty vast. Now, of course, everything comes in tiny jars and little containers. Jewelry making components can be quite small. But uh, nonetheless, about 60% of my stuff ends up there, probably 20 boxes worth of jewelry making supplies. Now, everything's up on shelves, and one day in a fit of rage, of course, he tanks the little studio I had in the garage. And I don't mean knocked the jars off. I mean open them all and dump them out. Uh, everything basically got picked up off the floor with dust pans into bags, big freezer bags, and... That's kind of what I'm dealing with now is trying to organize all of that. Now, did he sabotage me on perfect purpose? Absolutely he did. Why? Because I've been successful as a jewelry artist. We certainly could have used the extra income uh, in the home, but no, that didn't matter. He absolutely tanked my jewelry making, and that was about two years ago now. The bizarre contradiction with the narcissist is so hard to get your head around. I mean, the concept of your partner being able to earn a good income would certainly benefit you, but no, they would rather stop that. Uh, I always said to Trevor, you know, sometimes it feels like you'd rather be all of nothing than part of something. And though I didn't understand narcissism at the time, in retrospect, I will say absolutely. They would rather be feeling in charge full of supply from hurting you, be all of nothing, then part of something. And I I really find that really, really frustrating. If you've ever felt like the narc has sabotaged you, especially if they're very uh, covert and very sneaky and deviant in their behavior, uh, I used to often wonder, like, why is all this horrible stuff happening in my life. Like it was one thing after the other. Of course, now I know it was Trevor's, you know, sneaky, creepy, manipulative, 
self-sabotaging and diminishing of my life. But it doesn't make it any easier to deal with. And it always felt like nothing was working out for me. Now, this is two years after this event, one year since I've gotten free of the creep, and I'm still stepping in Trevor's ship piles. Now, I did have some jewelry supplies that weren't in a total state of disarray, so I have been able to get a few pieces made. I do have an online shop open. It's been a slow and painful process because of this jewelry supply mess. And I'm going to leave a link. I'd like you guys to take a look. Please critique the store. Now, initially, it had been my plan to start a shop to sell my art jewelry. I'm finding now uh, today, as I've gone through more of the boxes, that I need to do a massive, oh, the cleanup, oh my God, the cleanup's pretty horrendous. And to tell you the truth, those boxes of jewelry supplies to me now just feel so tarnished, so dirty. I mean, they're fine, like they're fine, they're, they're beads and components, but that event for me was so... Oh God, I mean, I just, this, when I saw it, this... Uh, Oh, my God. Now that I'm going through all the boxes and I've begun the huge process of organizing them and bagging everything, I, I'm feeling that again, like the damage from their relentless sabotage. I mean, even if you put it down for a minute, at some point, we have to regroup. We have to reorganize. We've got to stomp out the fires that they've lit. And this is a day of fire stomping for me. This event happened to me very, very shortly after I moved back in with Trevor, after I had left, was gone, got Hoover back in with all kinds of promises of how he's changed, how sorry he was, how hard I'd try and how he should have been a better partner to me. Well, we were probably two weeks in when this event happened. So if you're being Hoovered right now, cut that fucking thing off. The plotting and the ensuing sabotage is very real. In fact, you may notice at a time when your dog dies, your mother's sick, uh, your car's been vandalized, this is when they will absolutely spring into action. They not only want to hurt you, but they want you to be down so they can kick you more. And I wish this wasn't true. And please tell me if I'm the only one who's experienced this. But what I saw relentlessly throughout the five years in hell with that piece of shit was this constant, relentless sabotage of my life. Oh, does anybody feel like sorting beads? I'll leave a link to the little store I've started very, very recently. I want you guys to critique. Please don't be nice. I need honesty and I need truth uh, regarding the direction of the store. Now, um, the idea was that I would open a little shop for my uh, artistic endeavors. Right now, I think I'm kind of faced with the reality that a lot of those jewelry supplies now for me just give me a really bad vibe. Uh, so I will be uh, bagging and selling those. So what would have been my jewelry store will be a jewelry supply store for a while until I can kind of get on top of this. Now, it's really, really easy to get overwhelmed uh, looking at the mess that these things made in our life. But, you know... I sat in it for a minute, uh, had a bit of a cry. I'm feeling a lot better now, and I know that all is not lost, and instead of doing exactly what I want to do, I'm going to do what I can do. If you're still with this rotten thing that's destroying your life, do what you can to get out. Reach out for help if you need it. If you are free, please, for the love of God, do not go back. Do not go back. Every time I went back, it was worse. The idealization love bombing phase ended very, very quickly. And because I had left previously, I mean, full sabotage attack was on. If you're being hoovered by the narc now, for God's sakes, please don't fall for the lies. The only way to be hoovered is you've left, and if you've left, they've been mortally wounded, and all they're going to do is try and destroy you. I'm Kim. You're watching Kim Wilson TV. I hope you guys are having a narc-free day. Keep yourself safe, guys.